Well, welcome back to school, friends. It's always nice when we go through a holiday and we have that time at home, but I know for some of our kiddos with um, sensory issues that transitions back to school can be really stressful. So <clears throat> I was thinking of a few ideas that just might help in that process. Sometimes it's easier when we have a vacation to really not take our kids off their schedule too much or to reintroduce that schedule in a, in, a, uh, in a timely fashion, maybe a week before school starts back up. So um, getting up early, getting to bed early, um, picking your clothes out, some of those preparatory steps are really, really important for our kiddos because we know that transition is just a tough challenge anyways. So if you can discipline yourself to do that, I think it'll make that process so much better. And even for some of our kids, it's nice to go back by the school, maybe drive by the front and say, hey, do you remember this place? Let's look at the calendar. How many days before we start back? And, and using a calendar is, an, is another great strategy where you check off each day and they know that it's coming up. I think it's those unanticipated um, changes or those unanticipated activities that cause a lot of stress and anxiety for our kiddos. Even maybe having a uh, day that's preparatory for going back to school, making your lunch, getting your backpack all set up, picking out some of those new clothing items to wear. Those are just some of the few strategies you can use. So see if you can implement those and you're even welcome to add in some tips that have worked well for you so the rest of our viewers can use them. So I welcome you to make comments. Welcome back to school, friends.